On this episode of Living the Dream, Captain Jimmy and Louisa are back at Mar E Arena, and they yank about every species they can from the mangroves. Good one. Nice, Jimmy. I knew it. Right on that point. It looks like a snook, isn't it? Silver. All right. Good job. What is this? There he is. You wouldn't send him right back where he came from. Try to get something a little better. Ah! Roger up. Good job. Well Grouper. done. All right, Grouper Maggie. Woo! Woo! Nice! Ah! Good job, Felipe. Yeah, there we go. Nice snapper. Here we go. <laughs> well done. Well, we just got another double out here on a raton and another Colorado snapper, but this is your man in this area of Baja. Fish one! Oh, 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 The biggest rooster fish I've ever seen, Louisa. Oh my god! Ah. Hoo, hoo, hoo. My gosh, guys! Well done! Woo -hoo. All right! Woo. Yeah, boy! That's a kingfish right there! Oh my gosh! In Mexico, on the Pacific side of the Baja Peninsula, mangroves have found an ideal home on the shorelines of the hundreds of saltwater tributaries just north of Magdalena Bay. Local fishermen frequent these winding and narrow waterways because, at some point, they all meet the ocean. And these are the doorways that allow so many different species of reef fish to find their way into the mangroves everything from bard and Colorado snapper to bass and grouper. Jimmy and Louisa set out from Hotel Mar E Arena, and they hop in the boat with their captain and guide. They head north towards Isla Magdalena, where they'll fish the mangroves in water ranging from three to six feet. It shouldn't be that hard to pack the grizzly cooler full of fish today. The sun is out, so the fish can't miss the lipped lures. And in shallow flats like these, they've got nowhere to hide. We were trolling lipped lures on the edge of the mangroves in about three to six feet. Within seconds of Louisa putting the lure in the water, she was hooked up. Rod tip up. Good job. The rod to the work. There you go. There you go. There Holy you go. Holy crap, I knew nice. it. I knew it. This one. Really, keep reeling. He's right there. He's right there. Aha! Nice. Well grouper. done. Oh my gosh, I am a grouper. Let me get the fish for her. I'm a grouper magnet. Good job, Louisa. That's what we're looking for right there. Woo hoo! Nice! Look at all that bait that it's spitting up. What did I say about this Wow. Story? Two oh, minutes of trolling and you got a, that's a broom tail. You got a nice broom tail. Good job. Well done. Oh my gosh. Not even, you can even hardly get the other line in the water. It's already on. That is absolutely incredible. What did I tell about this color? Uh-huh. Got the other hook got back in him. There you go, Louisa. <laughs> Two minutes of trolling and a nice broom tail, huh? Very nice. Very cool. That's the broom tail, right? The pointed fins and it's, the babies. Do they they start to develop the broom, the, the bigger thing later, right? Yeah. Is this also called a golf grouper? No, no. Golf this is different. Is the, the one, one yesterday was a golf yes, grouper. All right. Oh, they look wow. so similar out here. It's so hard to tell the difference. But this is a baby broom tail, and you can only tell because it's starting to get the the broom part of the tail where it's getting jagged instead of more rounded. Yeah. But well done, it destroyed that lure, huh? Yeah, it 
Thank was hungry. Fish. It was his breakfast. Good job, Louisa. Thank you. It was awesome starting the day off with a broomtail grouper. Broomtail grouper live in depths of up to 250 feet. So to hook one in the mangroves is a real treat. And a tasty one, too. All right, grouper going in the grizzly cooler. Awesome. Let's keep trolling and get some more fish. Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life. Live salty. Grizzly Coolers. Envisioned, engineered, and perfected for performance. Decket. Never compromise. Demand the best. And by American Fishing Wire. Before the break, Jimmy and Louisa left Mar E Arena to fish the mangroves near Mag Bay. They started trolling some lift lures, and right away, Louisa hooked into a broom tail grouper. Rod tip up. Good job. Let that rod do the work. There you go. It's right there. Ah, well grouper. Done. Woo! Woo nice! Wow. Got a nice broom tail. Besides the grouper, we also caught some calico bass and some jacks. Is that the bottom? Oh, it's yeah, a fish. Nice, it's a little nice fish. fish. There he is, right on the surface. Check that out. What is that, a little cabria? Ah, little. Can you believe this fish just went after this lure that is probably the same size as the fish? What was so he small. thinking, right? It's a calico bass. <laughs> a little guy going back in. Yeah. Lucky, lucky day. Good one. Nice, Jamie. I knew it. Right on that point. It looks like it's snook, isn't it? It's silver. Get your line in so it don't tangle it. Nice. All right. Good job. What a hit. Smoke that. Mm. Well, we're in the clear now. We're out in the open. Well, guys, Louisa caught that nice grouper in there, that broom tail. And uh, we didn't see much else in that little creek, so we popped back out to this main one. And we're just casting hard baits, and I got crushed by something. It might even be a snook. It looks silver to me. Oh my gosh, what do we have here? Oh, there it is. It is a jack. It's a jack. These guys are strong, that's for sure. Jack Craval are very strong. All right, I got him in a position where I could probably land him here, Louisa. All right, let me get the rod for you. All right, here you go. Got him. All right, here he is. There we go. All right, guys, check that out. Got him on a hard bait. Listen to him grunt. Pretty cool, huh? Let's hook out and get him right back in. Now this one uh, is strong. Fighting and tasting, so uh, <laughs> not many people like to eat a jack of all, unless they're very hungry. I'll try to do this without bending the hooks, too. There we go. There he is. I'm gonna go ahead and send him right back where he came from, try to get something a little better. Awesome. Nice. Strong fish. Yeah. I sure do know how to fight. All right. Let's see if there's anything else hiding up there by those mangroves. Then Felipe hooked into a snapper. Good job, Felipe. There we go. That one's coming in a little easier like a snapper. Yeah. Heck yeah, there we go. Nice snapper. Colorado, oh, a barred snapper. Here we go. Good job, Felipe. Get him better there. There we go. Just had the run around on probably a giant snook. Felipe cast it in right behind me. Got this nice barred snapper there. Good job, buddy. <laughs> well done. We got so many of these already. 
um, the other day that we don't need any more fish back at the resort, so we're actually gonna let all the snapper go today. Barred snapper are a very strong fish, and it was really neat being able to catch them inshore by the mangroves. All right, well, there's that barred snapper. Again, we got so many of these guys that we're not gonna keep any more of them. We got grouper, snapper, losing the big snook, which is unfortunate, but just a great day out here so far, and it's only about lunchtime. We're gonna go ahead and send this one on his way. Take off, big guy. There you go. Thanks for playing. Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by C&H Lures. Be a winner with C&H Lures. Plantation on Crystal River the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. And by Salt Life, live salty. Mar E Arena is a coastal resort located on Mexico's Baja Peninsula, and it's relatively new to Jimmy and Louisa. But fishing out of the mangroves here has proven that these waters hold more species of fish than they expected. And the captains and guides that hit the water with them are top notch. Located on a small peninsula that juts out onto Magdalena Bay, Mar y Arena is sheltered from the Pacific by another larger peninsula called Puerto Magdalena. Mag Bay is fed by hundreds of inlets, some of which are large enough that gray whales can be spotted close to shore and others that are small enough that they provide the perfect environment for mangroves and plenty of shelter for all sorts of reef fish and wildlife. Mar y Arena offers four large beach cabanas, eight Bayview suites, and seven standard rooms. But each and every room is fully equipped with whatever guests might need and all offer scenic views of the incredible sand dune landscape to the east and Mag Bay to the west. But whatever your vacation looks like for you, whether it's whale watching with your family, relaxing bayside, hiking and trailblazing, or reeling in fish offshore or inshore, Mar y Arena always accommodates. At the end of each day, Jimmy and Louisa can't wait for a break from the sun and to bring their catch back to Mar y Arena's restaurant so that the master chef and the team behind all of the resort's delicious dishes can cook their hard-earned snapper for them. Reeling in fish like grouper, Colorado, and barred snapper from the mangroves all day is what Jimmy and Louisa live for. Spending time at resorts like these is bound not only to fill the belly with a fresh catch straight from the salt water, but it'll fill your soul too. Back on the boat, the fishing action out of Mar y Arena has been steady. And before the break, Felipe, a guide on the boat, just landed a barred snapper. Good job, Felipe. There we go, that one's coming in a little easier like a snapper. Heck yeah, there we go, nice snapper. Good job, buddy. <laughs> well done. Take off, big guy. There you go. Thanks for playing. Then Felipe hooked up again. There you go. Didn't even get this one in the water. Good job, Felipe. See this, guys? He's getting them back to back to back. His last fish, I just let it go and it's swimming off and he's already hooking up again. Oh, it's a trigger. A trigger fish, he can handle that one on his own. Look at the size of it. Oh, you snagged him. There you go. Get a good variety today. Snapper, grouper, trigger fish. There you go. Everything we've caught today is good to eat. They've reeled in some good fish so far, and some tasty fillets at that. But with that trigger fish on the board, the captain decides to relocate, and instead of throwing artificial in the water, they make the switch to soaked bait. Switching it up to soaked bait on the bottom was a great idea. Nice! Get it, Felipe! That's a hit. Yeah, sorry. Wow. There, man. <laughs> that dude's good. Look at that. That shit is Tori. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, what do you sir. think it is? Probably snapper. 
Don't look yesterday. Coming out. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a All right. Wow, big one. Oh, he's a good one. Really good one. Wow. Big fish. Whoa, whoa, look at that one. Look here, guys. Look at the size of that fish. Seemed like there was a very steady bite on the bottom. Oh my gosh, Felipe, what a monster. Goodness. Wow, there he is. <laughs> Huge Colorado snapper. Oh my gosh. The colors on the Colorado snapper are super bright. Just left the trees over there where I lost who knows what. And then Felipe hooks into this beast of a snapper. Man, this place is just on fire out here in Mag Bay. I can't believe the fish that you get in shore over here. This is so good, man. Well done. Jorge is the man out here. If you're going to want to come out and do a charter to get fish like this, it's just one monster after another. And thank goodness we were able to handle this one. Couldn't handle the last couple. Golly, well done, Felipe. Awesome, awesome fish. Huge fish, God. Woo! So amazing. Look at that. God. See, we're trying to let everything go. This one had a little bit of a stomach issue, but that's what we're bringing home for dinner tonight. That's dinner right there. Everything's been trying to get let go unless they get hooks in their bellies like this guy. So awesome. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. So far, the bite has been hot out of Mar E Arena but things are about to get even hotter. They've just landed another Colorado snapper on a double. And before Jimmy could even open the grizzly cooler, Louisa hooks into another one. Well, we just got another double out here on a Raton and another Colorado snapper. We've caught so much out here with Captain Jorge Madeira, correct? Yes. All right, if you guys want to catch anything out of Magdalena Bay, this is your man. We've caught everything from snook to grouper to a variety of snapper and all kinds of other fish. Corvina, Ratones, amazing, amazing couple days out here with him. You'll see his information on the screen, but this is your man in this area, Baja. Big one! Oh, he's oh, up looking at you right here! Oh, good job, Luisa! Woo! Woo Captain Jorge got us on the fish! <laughs> Can you make your way to the front, Louisa? It'll be easier. Yeah, I can. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, it's a Colorado. It's another big Colorado snapper. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. My gosh, Louisa. Come on, day long. <laughs> wow. Good job. Lead him right back here. Unreal. You're not quite ready yet. <laughs> Oh. I went to lift him, made a mistake, thought I could pull him in, I pulled him off. Well, we were going to let him go anyways, Yep. but as you guys can see, I mean, didn't even get a break from the last Colorado snapper we just got in the boat, the weasel hooked another one up. These fish are coming in one after another, so we're going to get another hook tied on real quick and try to catch some more. Yeah, it should be easy. All right. Louisa followed that snapper up with a really neat fish. All right. Wow, wow. Pulling really hard. Oh my gosh. Woo. 
fish and big fish and 40 pound Palomar leader. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. oh look at that. That's, That's a, a guitar, guitar fish. fish. Very cool. I hope you land him. Oh. Loosen your drag a little. Okay. What is the best way to land this? I've never actually seen one. Is there anything that stings on him? Okay. He's not hooked real well. Make sure your drag's loose if he runs. He doesn't pull hook. Pretty loose now. Check it out. That is pretty neat, Louisa. Yeah. What an interesting fish. That's a guitar fish, guys. We had one yesterday about three times that size right up at the edge of the boat. He just pulled the hook. Looks like a mix of a shark and a stingray. Exactly. Exactly right. Little Look eyes. Look at the right mouth there. underneath how it feeds. I'm going to pull that hook out. But uh, it just sucks right off the bottom, just like a stingray. Looks like he's smiling at you. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's some pretty cool uh, coloring down there. Yep, that's a guitar fish. Cool. What do you need? Guitar fish are not common at all, and we caught them two days in a row. All right, well, he's got a little bit of blood dripping out of him from where that hook was. So I'm just going to get him in real quick. There he goes. Yeah. That wow. Was that's interesting. That was cool Got to all see. kinds of new stuff out here, huh? Yeah. Well I've never done. seen one. <laughs> For more fishing and diving action, follow Captain Jimmy on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok at Captain Jimmy Nelson. <laughs>